this week's vlog. Simply put, we're talking about uh, cooking and connecting with people. We talk a little bit about equipment, and uh, I like to give shout outs to other channels, other, and I will start here on Instagram shortly, uh, other uh, handles on Instagram and their pages, etc. So, and I also like to do shout outs for those uh, people who uh, I think do the best comments. Everybody's comments are great, right? But I, that's, I've had, I had some good ones this week. I really did. So we're going to start with business, B-I-D-N-E-S-S. -S. And I need to clarify something from last week's video. I mentioned that I work, I watch a lot of videos. I said 15 to 20 videos. And that's about how many I watch a day. But I mentioned, and I don't know why I said this, that I do it from my work laptop. And I do watch a lot of videos from my work laptop, uh, but not 15 or 20 a day. So, you know, I had a chance to talk to Ron from Four Seasons Barbecue today. And he made the comment just off the hand, hey, I noticed you haven't been uh, commenting on, on any of my videos lately. And, and I, you know, I'd say, Ron, you know, hey, I do watch your videos. I, like I said, I watch 15 to 20 videos a day, but a lot of them are on my work laptop. And if I'm at work and watching a video, unfortunately, all, all I can do is hit thumbs up. And I got to talking to Josh from Adventure Roads today as well. Mrs. Dude and I are thinking about going and visiting him and his wife in Michigan uh, in August. And based on the conversation that I had with Ron, and also a conversation that I had with you folks here just recently about YouTube, in my opinion, kind of being archaic. I really think it would be cool if YouTube would show you who hit the thumbs up on your video. I honestly don't care who hits thumbs down. I really don't. I know there are people out there that do it just to be honorary, big deal. But I would like to see who hits the thumbs up on it. I mean, anybody can leave a comment, that's cool. And you see those folks, but you know, like on Instagram and Facebook, if somebody hits, you know, thumbs up or likes it or thinks it's funny, ha ha's it, whatever, sad, you can see it. And I, I think that YouTube could learn something from that, but that's just my, my YouTube spiel. I'm really starting to concentrate more on Instagram versus YouTube. I'm monetized with YouTube. Don't get me wrong, they, at least they pay me a little bit. But I think Instagram is the way of the future. And I, th I really think you're going to start seeing a lot more of these behind the scenes videos on Instagram. I always film on Wednesday for my vlog coming up. So I think I'm probably just going to do it live on Instagram, just like we're doing today. So uh, the new bar comes in, I think in about two weeks, I'm hoping. Uh, and it'll go in over there. So we have the Slackers Lounge here and the new bar will go over there replacing some of the equipment that I have over there. Man, I'm excited to have that. And that should almost complete my patio conversion. So yay for that. What's cooking? Well, for the first time in a long time, I'm not cooking. <laughs> I am sweating a little bit, but I'm not roasting out here. It's not 102 or 105. It's like 91 and that's almost, you know, like sleeping weather, right? Who would have thought that you know, 72 degrees was perfect weather for sleeping. Not me. But anyhow, I had another short last week that did very well on Instagram. And I'm releasing it tomorrow on YouTube, so we'll see how that goes. It's the exact same video. Uh, but this uh, this short was just what does a white what does a Bud Light and a White Russian have in common? Well, me of course. You know, that's all it was. And it got 10,600 views or 500 views. So, hey, can't go wrong with that. And it was true. This is the day before my birthday on the 15th of July. And that's what they had in common was me. Uh, I did my first live cook on Instagram on Monday. That was a blast. And I was telling Josh from Adventure Roads, and he's also on Instagram if you want to look him up, Adventure Roads. I was scared going live. And I already had pre-made burgers, but I had some uh, rub that was given to me. And so I just kind of got into that 
YouTube video mode, right? And I just did it. And once I found my groove, it was great. And I plan on doing it again. I probably, I'm thinking Monday, this Monday, doing it again at like 7 p.m. Mountain. And I think this time I did a video recently on grilled cheese taco sandwich. And I got a lot of comments on that. People loved it. So I might just redo that one, but do it live. So yeah, I think it'd be kind of cool. Um, this week's video update, it actually is starting to kind of take off. It was a food challenge and uh, weird combinations and it was banana and ketchup. I loved it. Well, let me take that back. I didn't love it, but I liked it. Mrs. Dude did not. And you can see in the video where she's spitting out the banana and ketchup and the uh, thumbnail is her going, <laughs> so, uh, but it is starting to pick up a little bit. I haven't really, I didn't put it on Facebook or anything. So I get a lot of views off of Facebook. I, I didn't because I just thought it was fun, right? Next week's video, finally the poor man's picanha. I know I've been promising you guys this picanha forever. Finally comes out and that one I'll put on to Facebook and uh, I'm really looking forward to that. It was absolute a blast to remake that video and Patrick did a dynamite job of editing it. By the way, if you're looking for an editor, I highly, highly recommend Patrick from Patty Joe Cooking or Patty Style Productions. He does a great job at editing videos and keeping in touch with you. Um, I'm also finally uh, going to make that chicken sandwich I keep telling you guys about. I know it's only taken me three vlogs to get there, but uh, I think I'm making that tomorrow. That'll be our dinner. But I got all the ingredients for it, and I'm just, just looking forward to doing it. So, right on. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Okay, a couple channels that I would like to point out. All right. Barbecue Riot. I found them on Instagram. And then I found them on YouTube as well. And he does like short 30 to 60 second videos. But they're good videos. They really are. And he seems to know his stuff. He made a heart attack burger, which I thought, I would risk a heart attack for that. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. Oh, Steli's Grills. Steli Grills and Chills. Love this guy's channel. He, uh, he obviously knows his stuff. He did a video recently with uh, Pork and Uncle Steve's Shake. You know me, guys. I'm a big fan of Uncle Steve's Shake. Uncle Steve's, yay. But then Steli released a video today where he did fried rice. And I thought that was a very, very high quality video. I'm going to put both of their links down below. But if you check out any of Steli's videos, definitely check out the fried rice. He did it perfectly. So good job, Steli. Very good. Ah, let's see. Ah, viewer shout outs. <laughs> So I had a short on both Instagram and YouTube where I asked, what was your favorite barbecue? And <laughs> I thought this answer was ingenious. It's uh, Robert from Crows Outdoors. He said his favorite barbecue is barbecue. You know what? Uh, need I say more? The guy is spot on. <laughs> Good job, Ron. Ron from Four Seasons. We talked about him earlier. He's got a great channel. Um, sorry. So I'm talking to Ron on the phone today, and we he had left a message. He watched our uh, challenge, the banana and ketchup challenge, and he suggested that we do water uh, pureed watermelon and steamed broccoli. Ron, I'd like to personally say thank you so much for that idea. I think that that's what Mrs. Dude's going to go for. And there's a good chance you guys are actually honestly going to see me puke on a video because I don't like either one. So thanks a lot for that, Ron. No, you're great, Ron. Thank you. You know, another one was Lee from Smoking Bears. And he was also commenting on the uh, banana and ketchup and I thought it was funny so Lee says yeah I'm not sure about 
about, I'm not sure there, dude. Nanners, ketchup, and a beer. I think that was a rough burp. <laughs> I got the biggest laugh out of that. You know, he's right. <laughs> that was one hell of a burp. <laughs> so, thank you to everybody who's uh, left me comments. Uh, I really appreciate I love reading a guy's comments. Everybody calls me dude or El Duderino. Love it. Like Chef Rich. Uh, we showcased him last week's vlog. He mentioned uh, me in his comments. He dedicated a video to me, and it was about kale, and he knows how much I love kale. Makes great garnish, though. All right. A couple of updates. Uh, the new grandson is home, and he's doing great. And his brother and sister are happy to meet him and his cousin as well so yeah he's a very welcome addition to the family very quiet baby so far so which means he'll probably be very loud when he's young uh, older just like his grandpa <laughs> ah cameras ah where to begin so i used to have this panasonic camera and it filmed in 4k i love that thing and i would attach this mic to it it worked great for videos. You could load 4K, blah, blah, blah. Well, I dropped it one day. I still got it. It does everything but focus. Tried to fix it. No bueno. So I have a new camera that I'm looking at. It's a, a Nikon D7200 that I've been experimenting with. And that's what I've been filming on. But I have a bit of a problem when it comes to uh, focusing on food versus a face. It doesn't like to focus on food as much. So I have an iPhone for that, right? So I have an A and B camera. Well, my iPhone 7 died yesterday. So Mrs. Dudes was on life support. So we went and bought a couple of brand new iPhone 12 Max Plus, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. And I got to say, I love it. So I'm looking forward to uh, going back to filming with iPhones because this is connected to the iPhone. And this will connect to the iPhone as well. So I really think that that will uh, be what I'm filming from now on. And I'll probably uh, give Mrs. Dude back her Nikon. Either that or I'll start using it as, as the B camera. Ah, let's see what we got here. Uh, all right. Time to wrap this up. I really appreciate everybody showing up and watching this, uh, whether you watch it now or later. I really appreciate this, guys. Tell me what you think about my vlogs. I love them. I used to have a talk show, and I loved it. But, man, it was so difficult to put together. And so I found these vlogs to be just a great way to, to express myself inter and even interact with you folks and still highlight what everybody does. So there's a quote I want to leave you guys with, and I'll also put it down on down below, and that is, here's to letting life come to us once in a while. I will drink to that, guys. All right. Well, if you guys have any comments, questions, thoughts, a lot of you have my phone number already, so just send me a text or, or leave me a comment down below. Really appreciate it. I can't decide if I want to look at that camera or the iPhone or do I want to talk into this or this. I don't know. Anyhow, thank you everybody for taking time out of your day. I know you're all busy to come hang out with me in the Slackers Lounge and listen to El Deuterino talk from his throne. I will see everybody soon. Thanks again, everybody. Take care.